Hi, I'm Steve Roth. Now let's take a look at removing the sash on a slider. First of all, we want to unlock the window. Move it out a little bit. Now if you notice, I'm going to try to lift that out of the track, and you can't. There's a block up here that is an analog block that won't let us lift that out. But if you go to the opposite side, now you can lift that up very easily. So there's one. Here again, on the inside, we'll move that across, get past the block, lift it up. That's how easy the sash removes. Now while we're also in here, let's take a look at the roller track cover. That can come out very easily and then we can look for any debris or clean that up. And all we need for that is a flathead screwdriver. We're going to want to get behind that track and that's how easy it is. Also if you notice, it has a little bit of a slope so when we're replacing these back into the track cover, we're going to want to make sure that, they're, that the slope is facing towards the outside of your house. I'll put this back into place. Then you want to hear a, like a little clicking sound with your hand that that's seating back into the track cover. To do the other track, same procedure. Now to put this back into place, you just go in reverse. We're going to want to make sure, one thing I want to point out, these little roller tracks, make sure those are on the bottom of the sill or the bottom of the window. Go past the block, move that in. Now you can move that all the way to the left. Here's the other sash. We've got the rollers facing down. There. And you can check for movement as well. Now with that sash seated, we lock it up. And really with a couple tips like that, it's very easy for you to do.